Hey friends, today we have a horror game called K9, and this one has been a long time coming. I have had this horror game installed for months now, and I just could not find the right time to give it a full playthrough. Until now, that is. Apparently we have to save our dog from some really unfortunate situation, I think they were captured and taken to a lab or something like that? Not 100% sure on the details, but I do know two things. Number one, this game was heavily inspired by survival horror games of old, so things like very early Resident Evil games. And number two, I finally got new glasses. Not sure how you guys feel about them, but I kind of dig them. And none of us have to look at those old broken pair of glasses anymore. Now, before we get started with the game itself, I wanted to take some time to throw some appreciation on you guys. This channel is growing at a rate I have a hard time fathoming. And you guys seem to be really, really excited about this concept in the comments. So I wanted to take a moment and talk about how that feels to me. The best way that I can describe this feeling is that I'm honored that you guys chose me to spend part of your day with, to share part of your experience with, to share part of your feelings and emotions with. When I first made the decision to do these long playthroughs, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to bring anything special to the table that wasn't already being done better. In fact, I was convinced I would not be able to do that. You all have reminded me time and time again that I was wrong and that we have created something really special. You guys are a light in my life and I never want this to end. Thank you for being you. With that being said, here is K9. Tommy has been missing for three weeks. I received an anonymous call saying he is in Umbral Clinic. Hold on, Tommy. I'm coming for you. Three weeks. Imagine your pet, your best friend, going missing for three weeks. I think about Chester and Pumpkin and it breaks my heart. Oh, here we go. Okay. So the ball says Tommy on it. Um, my big head is covering that up. Okay, left shift run. Left click throw and pick up the ball and he's interact. Is throwing a tennis ball going to be an, a recurring gameplay mechanic in this game? That would be cool. Someone is looking for this dog. So... Tommy might not be the only dog missing. Okay. Have you seen Tommy? Hello, I'm a graphic designer. My name is Carlitos. Hmm, Umbral Animal Clinic? Sorry, I've never heard about it. But I've seen some guys transporting a lot of dogs and cats in the other back alley. It seemed pretty suspicious to me. Anyway, do you have any spare change? I guess we don't. Um, no idea how old this character is. Here's another... Another dog missing. Okay, there's some sort of... Secret underground pet ring or... Or... You know experimentation uh, clinic here, something like that. I don't know what's going on or what they're doing, but people are capturing pets um, in the dozens, it seems, I bet. Another dog, yeah. And cats, too? Mm. Any theories on what might be happening yet in this game, guys? I know it's really early, but I always like to... Some of you guys do comments, like, before having finished the video, and I always love to read them because you're kind of giving me an insight into how you... maybe where your mind's at at a certain point in the game, um, when we don't have the hindsight. Oh. Alright. Can't use that. Okay. Enough. Is that going to turn off? Okay. Hmm. Carne. Okay, is that a restaurant? This is not a good place for a boy like you. I guess we're, like, really young. Are you looking for your dog? Lots of pets have been going missing lately around here. And I think that shady pet clinic has something to do with it. Be careful. Shady pet clinic. Well, that's a clothing store. Green light back here. Umbral. 
Okay. When I think of Umbral, I think of Umbrella Corporation. Nothing unusual, except for the dead animal inside. Yeah, I was about to say, there's a dead... Cat or dog? I don't know. It's, it's un... Unrecognizable. Yeah, Umbral Pet Clinic. Okay, well, I guess that's where they want us to go. Here goes nothing. We gotta find Tommy. And I don't know where he'd be besides here. Multiple people think this is suspicious. Blah, blah. Think this is suspicious. I have to find my little Tommy. Oh my god, look at this place. I better keep the ball with me for now. The Fused Canine Human Hybrid, an exploration of demigod potential? This study examines the potential for a fusion between dog and a human to result in a demigod? Why would that be the method to bring about a demigod? What is going on here? Through the use of advanced genetic modification techniques, the DNA of both species are merged together to create a hybrid organism. The subjects underwent a series of physical, mental, and metaphysical tests to determine, to determine the extent of their abilities. Is that the point of this pet clinic? That was a good radio. Okay, just a radio program. So what's going on over here? Oh, this is the, the shop area. Is that what's going on here? A demigod. But why would that be a demigod? It's two mortal beings. I have a feeling there's going to be some sort of religious text, religious cult involved here. There usually is. Okay. A rabbit. Have they been capturing rabbits? Hmm. I don't like the feeling of this. And yes, we're being watched, of course. And there's the rabbit again. I don't think they've been experimenting on rabbits. But they're not just capturing dogs, even though those are the only images we've seen are from missing... You know, the missing posters. Oh man, this is creepy, and this building's a lot bigger than I thought it was. A locker room. The fused canine human, human hybrid. Oh, okay, this is the second part of the text. Methods. Genetic material was taken from a male German shepherd and a male human volunteer? How much you want to bet this was not voluntary whatsoever? The DNA was merged and the hybrid fetus was implanted into a surrogate canine mother. The hybrid pup was raised and trained until it reached maturity. God. A shotgun, but I don't know how to shoot. Oh, why would I need it anyway? What do you mean, why would you need it? I'm immediately suspicious. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah, we must be a really young kid. Oh, God. Well, I have a feeling that's the rabbit. Now, you guys know by now, I love looking at the art on the wall for a lot of these indie horror games. We've seen some recurring ones, but I wonder if this is a real piece or if this was just created for the game. Hmm. Ah, okay. I'm very interested in these texts. This is part three. The hybrid demonstrated physical attributes beyond that of either species, including increased strength, agility, and heightened senses. Mentally, the subject showed a unique ability to understand and communicate with both dogs and humans. See, I would have thought it would severely dumb down its ability to communicate, but apparently not. As well as exhibit problem-solving skills on par with a human? And of course, we can't check in here. Okay. I'm getting very nervous about what's happening here. So this demigod, I'm assuming they've made many of these. Tommy, is that you? I can't see anything. I got to find a way to turn on the lights. And what is this? Oh, God. 
An office? Of course, there's a missing fuse. More pictures. I like these, the face ones. That's cool. So where would there be a missing fuse here? Anatomy and physiology of animals. I guess they're all that. All right, let's go ahead and check the desk and see what we can find. Here's key to door number 18, locker key. And what is this? Reuben, the subject dog. Okay. This isn't our dog. Let's see. Name McCree, age unknown, ADN test incompatible, status escaped. This dog escaped? McCree was a huge problem for the staff because of the indomitable temperament and insatiable hunger. The results indicated that he is not suitable for the project. We tried to get rid of him, but we found he escaped from our installations. How? It is still a mystery. It's Tommy. Tommy's compatible with the test. Oh god, this is not good. Have they already experimented on him? But he's alive. Observations. The test concluded that this dog could be the ideal vessel for a god, but we may use it for other purposes. Its high DNA compatibility makes it a candidate for other minor projects. In any case, he is too weak according to what the test showed. Yeah, but I bet they tried. Name Reuben. Age 2, test compatible, status alive. Oh, they haven't experimented on Tommy yet, because this this means alive and they've mutated him already. Look at Reuben! God, that's creepy as hell. Jeez. Product of a mutation in skeleton and mus musculature, the specimen began to walk on two legs and has increased in size up to five times. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It has developed the ability to interfere with electrical systems, often causing problems with facility lights. We have it completely under control. I doubt that. Weakness. He can't help chasing balls. He's still a dog. Oh, my God. Okay. They have Tommy. Tommy is not... Has not been experimented on yet. We've got to get back to that locker. God, I don't have a good feeling about this. Ruben's face did not look right. Obviously, we didn't see his body, but they said he walks on two legs and has grown up to five times the normal size. All right, we gotta get back. And we're trapped. Great. All right, locker number 18. What do we got? The fuse, of course. Fuse obtained, good. Now we can just head back. There's another gate. I bet that's going to close here soon. So they know I'm here. Obviously because they have cameras. They know I'm here. Okay. Let's get those lights on. I wonder... Oh my god. Okay, that's Ruben. Great. Great. Good. Good. Um. Oh. God. No. Can I throw the ball? Is that his foot? Yes. Oh my god. Don't open the door. I'm not in here, you don't smell me. Maybe I can use Tommy's ball. right in my ear. Can I go? Oh my god. Ruben... Is this the demigod they're after? Or is this not the... 
the complete version. Oh dear, that rabbit has been devoured. I should go back for Tommy's ball, it might be useful in the future. Wait a minute! The dog is there! Do I have to pick it up and run? Oh god. What are you looking at? Oh! He's in the vents. God help me, he's in the vents. Okay, so the mechanic is to throw. It reaches a stop. And then I can pick the ball up once it's completely stopped moving. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do any, like, quick throws and catches or anything like that. It needs to be completely still. God, this game, man. What a great start to the game. I'm totally invested. I love the atmosphere. Like, there's something so sinister going on. The idea of trying to create a demigod in a veterinary clinic. Awesome. Great stuff. Okay. Oh, man, you look bad. Oh, you're here, but where's the shotgun? What are you doing with that ball? I'm truly sorry, I didn't want any of this to happen. Those bad people won't listen to me. Hear me out, there is a way for you to escape. Use the four switches to open the big door. And this is important. The last switch is in... The last switch is in... Uh, and he dies, of course. Great, good. We have discovered a way to restrict Ruben's mobility with a highly scientific method that I will not explain. We are going to use room E to store all the experiment balls away from him. So we throw a ball. We are also going to give the boy a shotgun to test the specimen's resistance to weapon damage. Well, great, we don't have a shotgun. Oh god. Where's the fourth switch? Uh... Okay. Alright, well, we might as well go to A first. Oh god. Hello? Oh my god! These are all of the... Experience. They were making experience with other dogs. Oh, and they all look different. Oh my god! Oh, that's- that's, uh... A reference to Resident Evil 2. That's cool. This is so creepy, man. Oh, that one's twitching around. He seems to suffer from spasms. Jeez. This is so dark, it makes my stomach kind of drop. These are all fusions of a dog and a person. God. I want to look at all... That's an Among Us imposter. Okay, well. Great. Not sure what I expected. Uh, this layout is kind of confusing. Who is this? The head is missing. Good. Well, he's not going to be a problem then. Jeez, this, this lab is... really confusing. Hmm. Can I not get through here? Okay, we crouch. Can I get my ball, please? Thank you. Okay, so what do I do? Help me out here. Oh, there we go. Okay, security cameras. Oh. Oh, no, that's the headless one. Okay, dog, dog, dog. And here we are, switch number one. That was easy. Okay. Are we good? I have a feeling... Oh god, no. Ruben's here.
crap. Ruben! Go after the ball, Ruben. Ah, oh, I couldn't sneak by him. Jeez. Thought I could sneak by him. Okay, we'll try again. <laughs> Not my best uh, attempt. Can I... Oh, do I not have my ball? Oh, my ball's gone. Crap. There it is. So the best way to do this is probably to hide here. Can I? Yes. So I'm going to need Ruben to go that way. And I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, God. All right, you stay there. Because I got no interest in messing with you. So switch number one is done. I need to go get another ball because I was wondering like, oh, aren't we just supposed to pick up the one? But there are some situations where we can't. So thank you, door E. And this looks like a safe house too, where we're away from Ruben. Which is always useful. Oh, it's like a waiting room. There's a key in B and a key in D. Okay. Can I play basketball? What happens if I make the shot here? You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I was gonna, I was gonna say, oh, do I get an achievement? But then I realized I'm not playing the Steam version of the game. It is on Steam, though. Okay, so let's... I guess the... Should we go to D? Next? Because there's a key there. I wonder if we should. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh. Is that Ruben? Oh, no. Okay. Okay, here we are. Um... Wherever this is. Uh, oh, good. Lift truck keys obtained. Okay. So where is a lift truck? Is this like a materials and shipment area? Lift truck keys. I don't see anything to do here. Can I crawl under here? No. Huh. I got no idea what to do here. Is there a button or... Something here? Maybe there is nothing to do here. Alright, well we got the lift truck key, so let's go try to... Look for some of those other areas. Um... I think I hear him. Ruben! I know you're out there! What is this? Is that a cow? Oh my god. That is not a cow. That is a giant dog. A cow or a horse? Not sure, but it has teeth marks all over it. That doesn't look like a cow or a horse to me. What is going on here? Is that Tommy? Oh, crap. We gotta get him out. Okay. Let's figure out what we need to do. This might be where we have to use the lift truck keys. Yep. Bingo. Forklift certified. Okay, Tommy, we're gonna get you out of here, buddy. 
Ugh, oh, I don't have the key for that. At least we can make that easier, though. Yeah, I don't have the key. So... What we're gonna need to do now... Crap. Is he the only other dog they have in storage? Alright, let me go back to E and check the map again, because I want to make sure of something. So, I have checked, we have the key from D, and we've went to F, and that's where our dog is. So I need to go to C next? Or B, maybe. Let's, let's do B. Right across the way. And that's gonna have the blue key, which I'm sure we used to unlock Tommy. And Ruben's somewhere here. I know he is. And he's making me nervous. I can smell him. What do you guys think of this game so far? I'm I'm glued to the game, to be honest. I'm absolutely uh, having a great time. I'm very impressed. It's creepy, too. Oh, here we go. Another book. Part four. Metaphysical testing revealed the hybrid to have an innate connection to the elemental forces of nature, including the ability to manipulate the elements to a limited extent. What? I guess it is a demigod. The subject also showed a remarkable resistance to physical harm and an accelerated healing ability. So how good would that shotgun really have done, I wonder? That's what I would like to know. And I'm a bit nervous because I don't know whether or not Ruben is still able to travel through the vents. There, Umbral Clinic right here. It's our office space. And they've marked the areas that we can hide in yellow. Oh, look at this. Yeah, Reuben was their prized dog. And he, I guess, wasn't a total success, but... A strange giant quadruped playing with a ball. Someone is looking at it. Cage key. May 18th, I hate that bald guy. May 18th, I hate that bald guy, always sticking his nose where he shouldn't. We are so close to achieving it. After so many sacrifices, we finally have the right dog. June 5th, Project Chackal is almost finished. We need to test the capabilities of the specimen. I came up with a plan to do it. July 11th, everything is ready. We have the bait and the facilities are prepared. Wait a minute. They never intended to experiment on Tommy. Tommy was only used to get me here. A giant dog leading an army of deformed dogs. Tommy was just a trap. That was bait this whole time. The dog with a t-shirt. Cool. And we managed... Oh god, Ruben to fall right into their trap. Crap. Oh, oh God, okay. Thank you, Ruben. He's fast. I did not know he was that fast. Okay. Fall. Here comes Ruben. I'm gonna try to hide here. Where is he? Ruben! Is he stuck? He's stuck. Okay. That was a bit too early. Come here, Ruben. There we go. Go get it. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Go play with the ball. God, he's scary. Where are the other switches? We're finding zero switches here. So we need to get back to... What is this? There's an inscription here. When the winged horse turns around, the path of freedom will be granted. There's also a switch, but nothing happens when I press it.
I think this is where they're keeping Tommy. Yes. Oh, I gotta do this again. Okay, that's fine. This is easy. Move that. Is he here? Oh, crap. How did Ruben follow me here? And I don't have a ball. Great. This sucks. There you go, buddy. Can I get out of here? Can I put him in the waiting room? What can I do with him? I don't think I was supposed to get him yet. But now we have Tommy. I don't know where the other switches are. Crap. Let's go to C. We haven't been there yet. Tommy's just looking at me. He's like, what are we doing? The Fuse Canine Human Hybrid Part 5. Conclusion. Our findings suggest that the Fuse Canine Human Hybrid possesses attributes that could be considered demigod like, further research is needed to fully understand the extent of their abilities and the implications of such a fusion. Due to the controversial nature of the study, yeah, you think, ethical considerations and caution are advised for any future experimentation. Yeah, okay. Sure. Can I go this way? No. Um, alright, so we gotta figure out where these switches are now. That's the problem. There's one. Oh god. So where are the other two? Oh boy. Hope you're paying attention. Big gaming, because you're going to have to find your way out of here. Where's Ruben? Oh, God. Okay, I don't know where the other switch is. Um, let's go to E real quick and figure that out. It's not F, right? F was where they had Tommy. E's a safe zone. D had a key. Let's check. Hurry up. Hi, Tommy. Who's a good boy? Okay. Just grinning at me. So there was one in A. There was one in C. Is there one in F, possibly? Let's check F again. And if it was E... Yeah, let's go check F again. Is there one here? And I just missed it? Because the other areas have keys. And I'm wondering if they can't be doubled up on. Come on. Anywhere. We need a switch. Give us a switch. And we don't got one. All right, so not in D. And we have to do this all while making sure Ruben doesn't catch us. Let's check F again, or, um, yeah, let's check the other one again. So we already did A and C. Those both have switches. There's a red light. Oh, yeah, this is the one we couldn't make any progress on. But... Can we not? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait a minute. There it is. Bingo. Okay. I knew there was more to this. I just wasn't seeing it at first. Shit, Ruben's here. Oh god, this is not good. This place is huge. And I don't know the way around, and I'm panicking already. We're flicking the switch. I 
I gotta find Reuben. And I gotta find him fast. Is he back here? Yes! Okay. Alright. Reminder, we have to go get Tommy again before we leave. We can't leave here without the dog. But Reuben is here. Maybe we can take Reuben home. That'll go over well with the folks. What do you guys think? This game is scary, man. Like, Reuben is a creepy, creepy figure. See here? Yes. Run! He's coming, and when he does... Reuben! I'm gonna throw this ball and get the hell out of here. Where is he? Is he not? I hear him. Oh! I don't know where to go. I don't know where he is. Oh! Okay, we'll take it! We'll take it! No! Oh. Okay, we gotta get to... F. And that's all the switches I know of. I think the last one is on the... the thing. The pedestal in the middle. Alright, buddy, I'm coming. It's crazy how Ruben is, like, able to walk across the whole facility. It makes him that much scarier. Come on. Is he here? Yes, he is. Give me the dog. Run! Alright, we are going to get into E, we're going to grab a tennis ball, and we're going to leave. We need a tennis ball, just in case. But I think I know where the last switch is. Right... here. Bingo. Oh god. Ruben! I know you're here! Did it open? Yes! Let's go! Let's get out of here, Tommy! Oh, I hope this wasn't part of their plan. Are we back? Oh! Hello, gamer, it's you! Oh boy, you did it! Look at you two, so happy! This is indeed a happy ending. Let's just hope that monster doesn't learn how to escape the facility. Ha ha ha. Right. Game result. Awesome. Two stars. We'll take it. We'll absolutely take it. Around 3.9 million dogs are abandoned or given up at shelters each year. Oh god, I didn't expect this. You can help change this simply by adopting a dog. Absolutely adopt, don't shop. That's a policy I have with pets. Um, that's how we've had our dog. That's how we've... I've always done it with my cats, too. They depend on us. Hey, buddy. I'm big on the adopt, don't shop. 
Love that at the end. Oh my gosh. This game was made with passion, man. This game was made with a lot of love. Great, great title, Canine. And there's the real puppies that were in the game. Look at them. Oh, look at Megan. Wow, great stuff. This game was fantastic. I hope you guys love this game just as much as I did. Oh, in loving memory of. Oh. That one hit a bit. That was a good time. Wow. Great game. Love the message at the end. Um, this is something special. K9 is, is really, really cool. I'm not sure if they're going to continue to expand on the game or not, but... Um, Really fantastic stuff. If they do another big update, you know, we can come back to it or something like that. K9 was an awesome, awesome experience, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think this was honestly a really polished indie horror game. It's like three bucks or something like that. Real cheap. So, uh, yeah, that was K9, guys. Thank you for joining me on another adventure. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.